Every once in a while, we like to take a few minutes here at Muscle Car of the Week and look at the videos that we've produced uh, specifically as delivered on YouTube and try and see what people think are popular. So today, we're gonna take another look at the top 10 Muscle Car of the Week videos as chosen by play counts purely on YouTube. Now, Muscle Car of the Week is incorporated into the V8 TV television episodes, which air nationally on three different TV networks, also on various social media platforms, but we don't really have a way to track the play counts on those, so these are specifically from the Muscle Car of the Week and V8 TV channels uh, as shown on YouTube. And it's always interesting to see what people think are the most popular cars because sometimes uh, you get surprised. So let's take a look at the top 10 Starting with number 10, back from episode number 13, the 1970 Ford Mustang Boss 302. This is the medium blue car. This is a great car. It's one of my personal favorites. Uh, this one we learned after the fact isn't necessarily 100% stock. It's actually been lowered just a hair, but I think that really helps the aggressive appearance of this car. Of course, the Boss 302 was the street version of Ford's Trans Am racing Mustang. It's got a high revving 302 cubic inch V8. It's a Windsor block with high flowing Cleveland cylinder heads. These things had a factory rev limiter set around 7,100 RPM. So these things really wound high. Uh, performance suspension, performance brakes, and not much else. Uh, a bunch of cool styling elements with stripes and color and wings. And uh, it's a crowd favorite coming in at number 10. In the number nine slot is a Dodge, a 1971 Dodge Challenger RT, powered by a 426 Hemi that you saw in episode number 38. This car is all business. It's black, it's got white stripes on it, of course the 426 Hemi, but one of the cool aspects about this particular car is it was sold new at Mr. Norm's Grand Spalding Dodge in Chicago, which was kind of the mecca for Dodge performance back in the day. We are big fans of this car as well, and uh, a lot of people liked it, enough to make it a number nine slot in our current top 10. And uh, as a bonus, if you want to see more of Mr. Norm, we have an interview with him that we shot at the 2013 Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals when Mr. Norm was celebrating his 50th anniversary in the business. So go check that out. We've got another Dodge in the number eight position on our top 10 list. This is a 1969 Dodge Daytona that we featured back in episode number 42. And this particular car is finished in yellow. It's got the signature Daytona elements with the nose cone and the high wing in the back. And it's powered by a 440 cubic inch plant with a single four barrel. And it's a very popular car in our top 10. You'll find that in episode number 42. The Dodge Boys are very popular in our top 10, as number seven is also a Dodge. This one is a 69 Charger. This car has evil written all over it. It is black as night, it is straight as an arrow, and it's powered by the 426 Hemi V8. For a Dodge Charger fan, it really doesn't get much better than that. And you can find that one in episode number 90. Blue Oval guys are back in our number six position with a 1970 Ford Torino Super Cobra Jet car that is found in episode number 75. This car is finished in bright red. It has the uh, Torino Super Cobra Jet graphic package on it with the blacked out hood, the wing in the back. It is an incredibly aggressive style car and it's powered by a 429 cubic inch Super Cobra Jet V8 engine. Made a ton of power, a ton of torque. This one's an automatic, uh, but still got the job done, and it's very popular coming in in our number six slot. In our number five slot is a car that is one of my personal favorites, the 1970 Buick GSX 455 Stage 1 four-speed finished in Saturn yellow. It's cool to see one of the less popular muscle cars be so popular on our top 10 list. Uh, these cars made a ton of power, 360 horsepower, 510 foot-pounds of torque, but still had the refinement of a Buick. And people sometimes ask me, you know, are they really that much different? Is a Chevelle and a GTO and a Buick GS, they're all kind of the same platform, but are they really different cars? And I truly believe that the Buicks and, and some of the more optioned GTOs definitely drove differently than the Chevelle, even though a lot of the part numbers are the same underneath. 
Uh, I didn't have the pleasure to drive this particular car, at least not yet. Uh, but I'm glad to see the Buick uh, bringing it home in position number five. Moving up the ladder into the number four position is the 1970 and a half Pontiac Trans Am featuring the Ram Air 4 400 V8 engine. This is just an awesome car. It was the redesign of the Pontiac Firebird and the Trans Am for the 70 and a half model year. It's one of the best looking muscle cars of all time. This one is finished in polar white with the blue Trans Am stripe and the bright blue interior, which uh, I think I even referenced in that first video back in episode number three. You wouldn't think a blue interior would look good, but when you see this car, your mind is definitely changed. It's an awesome car, first from Pontiac in our top 10 list in the number four position. Down to the number three slot in our top 10, this is a Plymouth. 1970 Plymouth Superbird that was featured originally way back in episode number 57 of Muscle Car of the Week. And this car uh, is a ball of stories. First of all, the story of what the Superbird is. Uh, again, another nose cone, high wing car designed for the NASCAR Super Speedways. And this car is powered by a 426 Hemi and it was actually used as a getaway car from a robbery. So another cool story, even on top of the story of what the car is. You can go back and watch that again in episode number 57. In the number two slot, we've got kind of a sleeper in many ways. Uh, this is a Mercury. Who would have thought a Mercury would be in the top 10 of our Muscle Car of the Week series? But this car is definitely worthy. It's a 1968 Mercury Cougar GTE package, which is a very rare car to start with. And this one is powered by a 427 side oiler V8. Uh, to see a 427 in a GTE Cougar is a very rare sight indeed. This is the 390 horsepower version in the Mercury, which is again, kind of a sporty luxury car, but is all muscle. And this car has another great story. Its history is traced all the way back to day one in episode number 59 of Muscle Car of the Week. And in the number one slot in our informal YouTube tally of top 10 muscle cars and muscle car of the week is the 1970 Ford Boss 429 Mustang. Uh, this car was actually in the number one slot the last time we did a top 10 tally and it still has a commanding lead as far as the most view counts. And again, it's totally worthy of it. The Boss 429 is widely regarded as one of the most awesome muscle cars ever built. And that Boss 429 engine development story is pretty interesting. It was an engine designed to be raced in NASCAR, uh, but to make it legal for NASCAR, they had to sell a certain number of them on the street, but they actually put it in a Mustang, which was not the car they raced in NASCAR. So it's a weird mix, but definitely not a weird car. Again, a very high strung, powerful engine, kind of a hand-built car built by the team at CarCraft and uh, wearing grabber blue in this instance, uh, in this Boss 429 Mustang from the Brothers Collection. You can revisit that car by looking up episode number 32 from Muscle Car of the Week, and that rounds out our top 10. You'll notice something interesting. We had no Chevrolet products in our top 10 this time. So for you Chevy fans, pick your favorite episode of Muscle Car of the Week featuring a Chevrolet and share it with your friends. Get those play counts up. Let's put a Chevy on the board for next time, or maybe an Oldsmobile, or an AMC or maybe even a Studebaker. We'll see you next time on Muscle Car of the Week.